The Worst Shame Yo, what's going on? It's someone that's someone, and welcome back to today's report. Today's report was sent by Nebuazy. When this happened, 2017, the drugs used dextromethorphan, diphenhydramine, 1PLSD, Xanax, alcohol, and cocaine, at a dose of two different doses of DXM, 350 milligrams, then 450 milligrams, six hours later, two different doses of DPH, 350 milligrams, then 350 milligrams again, six hours later, 250 micrograms 1P LSD, 2 milligrams Xanax, 7 to 8 shots, and 6 to 7 lines of cocaine, under half a gram total. The route administration, orally and insufflated, gender, male, weight, 55 kilograms, age, 16, for his set, he was very addicted to DXM and DPH at the time, and the setting with his friends, then his house, then the hospital. Okay, today we have a report of one of the most ridiculous and one of the most dangerous combos we've covered yet. Nebulazy recklessly starts combining the drugs he had while with friends, and after things start getting too strong, he decides to go home where he compulsively keeps taking more drugs. He pretty much goes on automatic mode and binges very hard. He lands himself where he knows he's in a dangerous place, but tries to fix the situation with even more substance use. It simply becomes too much for his body and his mind, and he's left for his mom to try and take care of him, and quickly escalates to him going to the hospital. This is a near-death experience, and really highlights compulsive behavior that can come along with addiction, to the point where damage to the body is neglected. This is a pretty scary experience, in terms of how bad drug use can get, and it really emits a tone that you have to be careful with what you do, especially when it comes to substances like these. I'm sure you'll enjoy this report, so without further ado, let's dive right into it. I want to start off by saying that any of these combinations are very dangerous and potentially fatal. I got off very lucky this day, and I still deal with trauma and a bit of regret. The amount of downers I took could have killed me, and mixing uppers and downers can cause cardiac arrest like the one I had during this experience. Please be careful. My memory about this trip is very hazy. It was a near-death trip. I do not remember any of the visions I had. Instead, I remember the unforgettably and unfortunate moments of fear and overall sense of shame of myself I've had during this trip. At this time, I was highly addicted to dextromethorphan and diphenhydramine. I was at a point where I would consume both in doses of 600 milligrams plus almost daily. I was also mixing a lot with alcohol when I can get my hands on some. I wouldn't leave my house without a bottle of the pharmacy branded DXM syrup and Benadryl caps. In this time period, I had received a 10 sheet of 1P LSD from a lab. I also had a few Xanax bars and some cocaine. If I remember right, it was a cold November day in my hometown of Canada, and me and my friends were trying to find a party to go to. I was waiting till we found a party before ingesting my dose of DXM and DPH, since I had already consumed 350 milligrams of each a few hours prior and was now on the come down of that. I remember walking around in the area for maybe an hour. At that point, we stopped at a bakery where I bought some soda. With my soda in hand, I decided to pour up 450 milligrams of DXM in the soda and pop 12 Benadryl pills. At this point, we decided to walk back to my friend's house. When I got there, it was late and I decided to do a line or two of the cocaine I had, then had about 4 shots. At this point, everything started coming up very fast and speedy, so I decided to order an Uber home. In the Uber, my decision making got really bad, and I decided it'd be a good idea to drop two 125 microgram tabs of 1P LSD. I got home and was way too fucked at to talk to my mom. It was 2 a.m. and she was waiting for me, dead worried. At this point, I said hi to her and quickly went to hide in my room, where I packed a few lines and had them in a space of 25 to 30 minutes. At this point, all the trips were getting mangled together and everything got really uncomfortable. The sense of doom hit and I started getting hella worried. So I popped my two milligrams Xanax bar thinking it would come down my trip. It did just that, 
but it also put me in a very dangerous position of having to stay awake, because I could literally feel my heart and liver struggling to stay up. I decided to take some more alcohol at this point. I'm estimating maybe another three to four shots, but I don't remember. I just know when I got home, three weeks later from the hospital, I had half a bottle left. When I finished drinking that last amount, I ripped my last line that was packed, or at least tried to, and I instantly dropped to the floor. From here on out, this is all what I was told by my mom, because I don't remember anything. I started puking on the floor. That's where my mom came in and tried helping me to the washroom. I couldn't stand up, and apparently I would pass out and puke in a cycle over and over. My mom called 911. Then I started puking blood in the middle of the mixture of everything I had that night. There's one moment that's burned into my memory from that night. A lapse of time where the paramedics came in the house. They were like morphing and melting and so big. Probably because of my perspective and how much shit I had taken that night. My mom said at this point I blacked out. They put me on a stretcher and brought me to the ambulance. I remember waking up a few times but my mom later told me I was out the whole time. When we got to the hospital, they sent me in a room to pump me up. That's where my heart stopped. My mom and doctors later told me that they had to revive me during this time. I was unresponsive for about 30 seconds or so. I slightly remember coming back, but it's very hazy and a dark memory, like swimming through a deep dark hole while being attached to a thousand pounds. For the next two days after that, my memory was too cloudy. But I know they sent me to the teen unit because they decided it was a suicide attempt. And today, I still ask myself if it was or not. During the first 72 hours, I was in detox mode, hungover, and still recovering. I was weak, sick, and had to wheelchair everywhere because my legs wouldn't work. My mom couldn't come visit for the first week. It gave me a lot of time to understand I needed to figure out what was wrong with me and stop getting myself in situations like that. Seeing her for the first time after that experience, seeing her cry and just be glad I was okay, made me realize what I put her through every time I had gotten hospitalized because of exaggerated doses of DXM, 1500mg to 1800mg, or other drugs that I've overdosed on during my years battling teen drug addiction. In conclusion, this experience was horrible, dangerous, and extremely irresponsible. I nearly died. I usually don't regret things, and that might be my problem, but this I regret deeply and wouldn't wish this traumatic experience on anyone. Fly high, but not stupid.